light and king of the universe. So let us open up the word of God and see what the Bible says will take place during the great tribulation. We will read a few verses in Revelation chapter 6. However, before we do that, allow me to set the scene. In chapter 5 we see at the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. This is Almighty God holding a scroll in his hand. Can you imagine that? The creator of all heaven and earth holding something in his hand. And we see that no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth is able to open the scroll or to look at it. When John saw that, he began to weep and cry because no one was worthy to open it. But then there was one who was worthy to open the scroll and it is none other than the Lamb. And the Lamb is none other than Jesus Christ. The only one that has the authority to open it is the Lamb. The only one that has the power to open it is the Lamb. The only one that has the ability to open it is the Lamb. Who else has the right to open up the seals except the Lamb who shed his blood before the foundation of the world? And then we see the Lamb take the book from the one who sits on the throne, the one who is none other than God Almighty. Now let us see the judgments that come upon this earth. Revelation 6 verse 1 to 8 and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. You know what the opening of these seals tell me is that there is a time coming that the world has never seen before. There is a time coming on this earth that this world is not ready for. Such will be the sight of those great days of tribulation and mortal men in the end will be led to surrender their own might and acknowledge the greatness of Jesus Christ. They shall then turn to the rocks and say, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits upon the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand?